Hey everybody, this is Emily from Emily Turner Tutorials and today we're going to talk about downloading ProPresenter. So first you're going to open up your web browser and go to Renewed Vision, which is the company that makes ProPresenter. And then once you've done that, um, you're going to go down to the spot that says ProPresenter and click on that. Um, it'll open up uh, a spot that says download and you'll go ahead and click on that. So go ahead and click download. It'll pull up this page right here and you'll have a pop-up window asking you for a lot of information. You just have to click the download only part. Then you'll go ahead and click on whichever version you want. Um, I have a Mac, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Mac one. If you want an older version, you could click on that as well. Um, they have a Windows one, a Mac one. Uh, but today I'm gonna go for the 7.13.2 version for Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and allow downloads on my computer. And then once that downloads, go into your downloads folder and open it up. So you can see I'm going through all of the steps to install it right here. You're gonna go ahead and accept the user license agreement. If you disagree, you won't be able to use it, so go ahead and just click accept. The audience and stage screen part doesn't really matter uh, for this part. Um, that's not really something we're gonna get into unless you're presenting from this computer. So I would just go ahead and click on continue down at the bottom. You got a bunch of options here. Um, share, ProPresenter, Analytics. Um, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna leave the crash reports on. You can turn it off if you want. Um, all of that is personal preference. And then since I am working at a church right now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave House of Worship on. House of Worship is gonna give you a couple more church-based options. So then once we get to this part, um, I'm gonna say either start trial or purchase or register. Now, since I already have a registration code, I'm gonna go ahead and put that information in here. So you're gonna need the registration name, the code, and the device name will already be in there. If you've already purchased per presenter, you should have an email with all of the information that you'll need to insert here. If you haven't already purchased ProPresenter, you can go ahead and click purchase and it'll take you through the steps to buy ProPresenter. But here I'm going to put in the registration name and the unlock code that I received in the email from Renewed Vision when we purchased the software. And then I'm going to go ahead and click register. Once you're able to see all of this information and there's nothing more to click, you can X out of that window and hit continue on the walkthrough. And now you're ready to use ProPresenter. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.